Good afternoon, students. I am Sapna, and uh, I am from Master Class IELTS, where I'll be telling you about the listening tips. Most of the students have come to me many a times, and they have asked me about um, a difficulty in listening, uh, especially in section four. So I'll be telling you the hacks, the tricks, the strategies, how you can use in your listening part, and definitely you can score good points in your IELTS speaking and listening and writing. This is the video about. I'll be listening first of all. So the first tip which I'll be giving you is cognition of different accents. Now what is that? Cognition of different accents means you must know the pronunciation of different uh, native speakers, English-speaking countries, and you must know that how they're talking. Suppose uh, the word though, or you do not understand or comprehend the word that is. Spoken by them, you have to re-hear it. You will have to re-listen to it and uh, play it again, so that you can come to know their accent and you're familiar with that, right? The second tip would be improving your short-term retention. Memory is very important in your listening part. You have to learn. You have to recall. You have to remember all the things which they have spoken in the earlier part. So make sure that you know at least. Ten to twenty words, which were spoken earlier. So retention is the basic thing that you have to keep in your mind, and you have to go with it. The third thing is predict the topic. Yes, predict the topic. Suppose in section one they are talking about some insurance, or they are talking about booking a hotel room. So you must predict that these kind of questions will be asked, and I have to answer these. So I am predicted. I have already predicted the questions which are going to come in section one, and you will answer accordingly, right? You will answer like uh, if I am booking a hotel, so I would say that the answers, the questions would be name of the hotel, uh, what's your name, address, then on which date it will be booked, so something like this. So I have already predicted that, right? The next step would be careful with the question order. Yes, you have to be very careful with the order of the question. Order of the question means you have you are going to the serial order in a serial manner. If in section one, two, and most of the times in section three also they go in a serial order, but in section four sometimes we get the questions which are. Reordered, right? Means they are in a different manner, and you have to locate for the answer. You have to locate for the question number, which they are going to talk. So in the first three sections, you can get easily. You can get the bands very easily. So I always tell my students that you can go through first three sections very carefully, and you will definitely score more than thirty in that. Next is look at the questions, two questions at once. Suppose they are asking about your name and your date of birth. So it's very easy that you are checking one and third, one and two, two and three, three and four collectively, and you will get the answers very easily. The next is ignore, ignore the word that you don't know because if you are going to think about it, you will definitely leave that, skip that listening. And you will skip most of the listening questions. So ignore the words that you don't know. Just jump to the next one. Otherwise, you'll leave. Underline the keywords. Very important, mandatory part of the listening. You have to underline because only then you will predict the questions. You will come to know what kind of questions they're going to ask, and uh, you will prepare your mind that this thing is going to be asked, and I am going to write this. Learn to listen and write together. Yes, they are talking, and the recording is being played. So you have to record. You have to record in your mind, retain in your mind, and you have to write it. So make small notes, short forms, abbreviations. Use those, and uh, like you use in your WhatsApp language, the same thing. You can use in your listening part. You can write in short forms, and you can use it. Next is listen to the intonation and sentence stress. Suppose they put a stress on something, it means they're going to answer something. 
they there is a fall of intonation means rising and fall of tone whether they are going to talk about or oh, no uh, otherwise oh yes i would say that so these kind of stress intonation and words linkers which cut the sentence and they change the way of sentence will definitely help you how to answer the question next is don't leave it blank never leave it blank it's very easy you can write it you can write in any way and if you you are uh, be you are practicing so you can re- uh, repeat it again and again and you can write it watch the tape script read it carefully then you can listen to the listening part and solve it definitely you are going to score and this is my uh, wish and pray that you always get good bands and you use these tips in your uh, speaking listening and writing part and because all the tips can be same retention is very important in all the modules and in listening it's very important so i would say that use these tips and you will definitely get good bands in your listening i hope you like the video do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel i would definitely meet you in another video uh, maybe speaking or writing and uh, all the best good luck